I think most people would agree when it comes to a story there's always two sides and if you are a storyteller or in the news you should be very objective and not subjective and not two sides. There are people who are obviously paid by the Russian Federation or the Chinese CCP government to do misinformation or information related to their side of the story but they should also accept the other side. One gentleman I'm going to show you in a minute I have covered before called Mr. Brian Belletic. And most probably I'm going to get burnt to hell related to this because I'm not very good at geopolitics. I just see it and I sort of say, where's the other side? And when you do comment on their forms, they seem to shout you down yeah, quite often and say, what do you know? You haven't been in China, etc., etc." So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Brian Belletic and he thinks everything is America's fault. The agenda is to subordinate, circle contain, subordinate China. So they need to make China and its people, they need to dehumanize them and they need to get uh, American people uh, uh, to generate this hatred toward them. We've, we've watched this. We watch this every day now, uh, increasing. And so it's the exact same process. It's called propaganda. You could convince people of anything if you're able to either completely control or dominate a, a nation's information space, you could convince them of anything. America, uh, in America, people are convinced that China is their enemy, that it's a horrible backwards place. It needs to be dealt with. And in Eastern Europe, uh, again, with US money, radio free Europe, radio liberty, pumping the idea that Russia is this horrible menace that needs to be dealt with. So, Brian is on the main screen at the moment, and on the top right hand side is a guy called Alex who works for a, a company in Chongqing called I Chongqing, which is an extension of Chinese media, which is also controlled by the Ch Chinese Communist Party. And they interviewed, or they're having a chat with this lovely German guy called Mirko. And he was invited onto the show just for his point of view. So they asked some questions like this. Do you support Ukraine? Or if you don't, why do the people in Germany still support Ukraine based on what? I'm, I'm very curious about this. Uh, because the country has been invaded. That's why. You can see the reaction from Alex there laughing. And then they go into details about 2003, 2014, the, the Minsk um, Corporation, whatever it's called. It's just horrible. Let's just continue a bit more. Bullying. It is bullying. <laughs> so, so then... Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's, that's basically what, when you look at the German, sort of, you watch a German um, talk show, yeah, like My Brit Illner is like a very famous one. Leaving. That's the, the aggression against the, the Ukrainian, Ukrainian country. Right? So Mirko, cool, calm, relax, just gives his opinion, and that's fine. But these two billies, Brian and also Alex, again on the top right-hand side, just tried to slander him down because they near enough are brainwashed that everything that Russia and China do is absolutely perfect, it's fine, while in America, what they've done in the last 20 or 30 years is awful. Shall we continue? The way this is being, um, how they are being brainwashed by their government um, and what's been allowed. Again, look at Brian smiling like he knows absolutely everything when he is just a propagandist to Iraq, Iran, Syria, Yemen. I think he would actually love to live in North Korea. We'll do that, Brian. M Mirko, are you talking uh, yeah, about... Yeah, you actually Chinese... should really do that instead of just uh, being dismissive and disrespectful. Um, you should do that. Mirko, Mirko, are you... So, who is disrespectful here? Obviously, it's the ex-Marine who lives in Thailand, Mr. Brian Belletic. Rude, impolite, not giving any leeway for his point of view or his paid point of view which I think is just awful. I know, again, I repeat, I'm possibly going to get burnt for this, but I just had to get my message out there, how rude some of these CCP shills are, that when you do confront them, uh, that they are just like this. There's only one way. They can't open their eyes wide enough to see the whole story is just one story, which is Putin and the other guy, uh, Xi Jinping.
I'm going to leave it there for now and I will wish you a happy day. If you agree, then it's fine. If you disagree, then that's fine as well. I'm just putting the how bad Alex and Brian are not accepting other people or other countries or other governments' points of view. Again, every side has two stories. They should be more open-minded and they should accept everything. Agree or disagree? Yeah. I would love to see these guys being uh, on like a TV show like BBC Hard Talk where they would just get slandered down to the ground, basically. My name is James. This is Buzz Buzz Buzz. Thank you.